So currently, we are about 20 students uh, that are driving from a city called Venetia in Ukraine, and we are going to the borders. And we are we we got the confidence of going to the border because we thought that no, the government will take care of us when we get to the other side. Imagine we got on this bus on our own course; they didn't do anything. There's a student who left yesterday, and when she got there, there was no letter, there was nothing from the embassy, so she was at the border from two up to until like nine. That's when she she crossed over at seven and up to nine is when she got into Poland. And now we are 20 students. Some people, imagine some people, we just took ourselves from the city, organized ourselves, got on a bus. Some people didn't even have money because nobody planned for this. Nobody really planned that this is going to happen you know so we paid for ourselves because we thought the government will pay for us to our surprise just now we received news that they are only going to pay for nasa funded students but this is an emergency nobody planned for it and how can if they could have stayed at this at the beginning people could not have left or we could have made other alternatives what do you mean they are only like so if nasa is paying for their students are they trying to say that the state cannot just help with the students or at least come through and just help us halfway because then what will happen to our parents you know so many things are happening and they are telling us that the accommodation we have to go we have to pay 13 us like 13 13 euros 13 euros is how much in namibian dollars like and we don't even and imagine we don't know how long we'll stay there because there are still some people we left in Ukraine. So we'll pay 13 euros for how long? How will we afford it? Or surely, like, how? And we don't know how many days we are going to stay in, in Poland. They also don't know. So we are just in distress. We are just wondering what is the way forward and what are we going to do next? I'm so sorry for the noise, but we are just in our bus. At least we need answers. We need people to act so that when we know, when we get there, at least we know that something is being done. Because right now, honestly, no. We are really just calling upon any Namibian, any stakeholder, anyone that is, is willing to just help us. Because at this moment, at this time, it's it's just, it's out of control. It's, it's too much.